but now let's go from the name of a molecular compound to the formula. So first we want to figure out well, what elements are present, what are the symbols. So this says dinitrogen pentoxide. So we should start to see, oh, there's a prefix, there's a prefix. So we should see the prefixes, those should kind of stand out to us, and when we see the prefixes, the only time we have a prefix is a molecular compound. So it's always the prefix, the element, the prefix, the element. So I know that this is an element and this is an element. So nitrogen, what's the symbol for nitrogen? N. Oxide, so that would just be oxygen, and the symbol for that is O. So now we wanna know how many I have. So di is a prefix, it stands for two. And pent, which is just gonna be short for penta, because remember if this is a vowel, we drop the A. And penta stands for five. So then these prefixes become the subscripts. So there's two N's, there's five O's. And you do not reduce. So if it's two and four, you don't reduce it down. You write exactly whatever it says. So dinitrogen, two nitrogens, pentoxide, five oxygens. All right, let's do some more. Dinitrogen or tetroxide. So I see I've got two prefixes, okay? And then here are my elements. The first one's a nitrogen, symbol is N. The prefix is di, di stands for two, so that's my subscript. The next element is oxide, which is short for oxygen. That symbol is N, O. Tetra or tetra, because right now it doesn't have the A, because we dropped the A because this is an O. And tetra's prefix is for four. So it's N2O4. Do not reduce, you leave it exactly as what it says. All right, next one. Sulfur hexafluoride. So I don't see a prefix here, so you're like, hmm. But you see one here. So if there's a prefix anywhere, then you know it's gotta be a molecular compound. So then we follow the molecular compound rules. Okay, what's the symbol for sulfur? It's just an S, okay? And then we said, well, how many sulfurs do I have? Well, I don't have, I'm missing this prefix. Well, what's the only time we don't write a prefix? The only time we don't write a prefix is if it is a one, if it's mono. So if there's no prefix, but the second one has a prefix, then that reminds me it's molecular, so it means, oh, it must be mono because it doesn't have the prefix. So then you'd say, okay, S1, fluor hexafluoride, so fluoride is just the shortened for fluorine, which is then F, and then hexa is the prefix for six. But we don't write the ones, right? So we want to rewrite this. You can write it while you're thinking about it, but remember we don't write subscript ones. So this is just SF6, because if you have it written, it's an understood to be a one. All right, let's do the next one. Diarsenic trisulfide. So I notice I've got a prefix, an element, a prefix, an element. So the first element is arsenic. So what is the symbol for that? You might be thinking AR because it's arsenic, but AR is argon. So this is why it's important to know your symbols to go with your names. So arsenic isn't AR, it's AS. And then how many do I have? Di stands for two. So phi is just the uh, shortened version of sulfur, and sulfur is an S. And then tri stands for three. So di arsenic tri sulfide. All right, so that is the end of our naming section. So we have learned how to name ionic compounds, covalent molecular compounds, and then all those subgroups of ionic. Okay, so now I can give you anything to name and you should be able to name it if it's ionic, covalent, or a hydrate. The only thing we haven't talked about how to name that you'll learn next semester is acids and bases. Okay, so that's the only thing we have left to learn. Then this chapter, you should be able to name pretty much anything unless it's um, acids or bases, or some really special organic compounds, okay? But all the general chemistry stuff you should be able to name. 
The second part of chapter four is our math part of chapter four. So go and grab the second PowerPoint and we're gonna start on the next lecture in part two, chapter four, start getting into the math now that we've covered all the naming.